making sure you don't drop the bloody thing on the floor in the process. Right guys, so I get so many messages asking me how do you repair this and make it look decent. Once I've drilled a hole, got all my cables through, what do I do? So today I'm going to show you step by step how to repair this and you can do this yourself. First thing you're going to want to do, depending on what size hole cutter you've used, is measure it. And you basically want an inch overhang either side. So if I put my tape measure there, I've, I need a five inch piece of timber to give me an inch either side of that. Okay, so quite simply, measure your five inches and roughly cut that on that mark there. I've just used an old piece of laminated MDF off an old kitchen, but you can use 2B1. Um, you don't really want to use 2B2 because it's too too deep. So, right, next thing you want to do, measure centre of this piece of wood. So you're looking at roughly two and a half inches there, like so. Next, grab a small, smallish wood screw and just start that off in that piece of timber, like so. Next thing, bring your piece of timber over to your hole. Get it up into the hole, like so. And you know that screw now sat there, you're gonna have an inch overhang here and an inch overhang here. And you'll see why I need this screw in a second. Right, so next thing you wanna do is position this screw so it's roughly center of this piece of timber. And then what I'm using is some silver plasterboard screws. What you want to do is, either side of the hole, and using the screw you've put in the centre, pull the timber down and screw that up until that screw just goes into the plasterboard and do the same the other side. Like so. A piece of timber fixed, two screws either side, and then next what you want to do is take this centre screw out because literally that was just your um, handle to hold on to that piece of timber. Right, next step is quite important. Get the disc that you cut out and back of the plasterboard you need to rip this paper off the back of the plasterboard. If you don't do that, you're not going to have any depth to be able to put a little skim of filler on this and this will sit proud um, once that's touching the timber, this will sit proud, but once you've taken this paper off the back, just that couple of mil there gives you a, enough gap to put some uh, filler on there. Simply screw that up to that timber like that. Right, this is what you end up with. Two screws holding the timber, two screws through the plasterboard, and that is solid now, that little plug. So what you can do now is run some um, sealant around here, let it go off but I've never had a problem um, with just putting filler on these, but for the purpose of the video, what I'm gonna do is put a tiny bit of expanding foam around there. Right, so that's gone off nice and hard now, that expanding foam. So simply now, you can just give this a skim over with your ultra fine filler. Because I do a lot of this sort of stuff, I just go for this ready mixed um, filler. Look, you can see how fine this is. Um, yeah, it's great stuff. Well, I've actually got my plasterer's trowel because I do do a bit of plastering, but you can use a normal filling knife. But what you basically want is something that will cover the whole thing in one swoop rather than trying to fill little edges like this because it's just going to look naff. So you know, like so. This will probably take two, two little fills, but you can go around a little more. Get the first one on there lightly. Um, go, go in each direction, then it will fill the holes and crevices equally, um, evenly. Basically, take off the excess, let that go off, and we'll just give it a final fill after that. Right, I've let this go off now, this has gone, um, this bit's gone dry, this bit's still semi-wet. As you can see, it's sort of shrunk back into the hole now, which is great. So now I can give this a final pass with my filler, 
and, and then the painter can just give that a light sand and he can paint that then. Right, there we go. I'm gonna take a little bit of this off this edge, but let this go off slightly, take this final piece off, and then that's finished. And yeah, jobs are good one. That's it, so I've left the painter a little bit to go with. Um, what I will do when I revisit this uh, job on my channel, I'll show these patches when it's actually finished and then I can show you how good they do actually look um, when they're finished. But yeah, that's how you repair a ceiling with holes in it.